Hello Red and Ruby class and welcome to today's lesson on understanding the world. Now today is Thursday the 25th of February. Oh, can you hear our ordinal number in there for the date? There's a 2 and a 5, but because it's the date we use our ordinal numbers, so we say the 25th. Fantastic. So it is Thursday the 25th of February and our challenge today, our skill today is that we are going to move in time to the music. Now this week we're learning about Chinese New Year and today we're going to look at the Chinese Lion Dance. So we've got a short clip here. Ooh. Hopefully you can all see this as we watch the Chinese Lion Dance. Okay, Red and Ruby class, really great listening. Now, we're going to see if we can have a go at doing some lion dances ourselves. So we're going to start with a warm-up. So everybody jump up, and I'm going to try and do this with you. So do you remember the first thing the lion does? Here, the lion bows to his teacher. So you take your fist into your hand, and you bow as a sign of respect. Okay, the next thing we need to do are some stretches. So take your legs wide, arms up high, and we're going to really stretch like a tree. Then let's see if we can round our bodies into a curly pose. 
that shape or a bendy shape and round our backs. Then let's go wide again, stretch over to the side so you can feel the stretch all the way down one side. Good, and hold it. And then let's stretch over to the other side. Really warming up all of your muscles. Let's have a little shoulder roll. And we're going to bend to one side. So one leg is bent and the other leg is stretched out. You can make sure you're standing up tall. And these arms can now go wide. Come to the middle to make a star shape. And then bend the other leg and make your other leg nice and straight. So I hope your body is feeling a little bit warmer as we just go on to our next slide to learn some Chinese lion dance moves. So let's have a look at this position. Do you remember your legs are wide, knees bent, you can put your hands on your hips as we do the square horse and that is because this is how we'd look if we were sat on a square horse. How strange. Okay and breathe and come up. That really warmed my legs up. I hope it's warmed you up too. Right, next we have the kneeling horse. So you're going to take one big step forward. I'm going to go sideways for you to see. One big step forward and then your back knee comes to the ground like you're kneeling. Really well done. And stand up again. Then we're going to step the other, legs for, other leg forward and bend the back knee down. So we've got a kneeling horse on the other leg. Oh my goodness, you're so good at this. Right, next we're going to do the bow start. So you point one toe forward because this is how we would be if we were going to do a, uh, use a bow and arrow. Our bow start, step back and point the other leg forward. Let me wiggle back a little bit so you can see. Pointing the other toe forward for a bow and arrow on this side. Wow, you've just learnt three new moves for your lion dance. Amazing. Sorry, you can't see me. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, now we're going to learn a little Chinese dance. So, we come back here. First, we're going to bow. Now, next, we're going to pretend that we've got big lion heads on our head. And we're going to look from side to side. So, we'll use our hands up here looking from side to side and then we're going to jump up okay so let's do that together look to one side look to the other look to one side look to the other and jump up now our next move is that we're going to dance around like we are looking for something okay so we're shaking our hand like we are looking for something Good work. Okay, let's do that together. One more time. Shaking our hands, moving around, like we are looking for something. <gasps> what have you lost? <laughs> You're doing fantastic. Okay, the fourth move is a balance. So we're going to like hop onto one leg. Great, then wiggle back and hop onto the other side. Good, and wiggle back. Now our fifth move is that we're going to put each leg forward in the bow move and it's like the lion is licking the leg. So it's like you're licking all the way down your leg. So you curve down and come up. So you're licking this leg and then licking the next leg and do that two more times, moving around, licking each leg. Great job. Now our last move is we're going to shake our heads and our hands and we're going to curl up and go to sleep. Okay, now let's have a go at that together. Let's shake our heads and hands and go to sleep. Now, we're going to see if we can put that with some Chinese music. Now, the Chinese lion dance music is full of bangs and drums and it's quite noisy. So you might want to cover your ears or it might, you might like to find the music yourself. I'm going to put it on now. Um, are you ready for a big loud noise? Or what you could do is you can go to this web, uh, you can go to this link to find it yourself, and it might not be quite so clangy. 
Okay, so let me find it on here. I'm going to turn it up a little bit now. So if you would prefer, you can rewind the video and watch this, uh, do the dance without the music or put the music on yourself. But if you're ready for a bit of noise, then you can join me and we'll do the dance together. So we start off with our band. Then we lift from side to side. And jump up. Now we dance well like we're looking for something. See if you can go in time to the music. Good. Then run back and hop on one leg. Roll back and hop on one leg. Now we're going to lick each leg. We're shaking our head and coming to speak. Great job, Red and Ruby Club. That was amazing. Good luck. And I wonder if you would like to video yourself doing that dance and send it in for us to see. I can't wait to see how much fun you all have. Take care. Bye.